Hey YouTube, Will Walker here. This is the William Walker Company Project Channel. So recently I picked up all of these kitchen cabinets from somebody that was remodeling their kitchen and they wanted the old cabinets out there about 20 years old and they asked, hey, do you need any of these cabinets? And I said, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm going around the shop mounting all of these um, and I'm just really excited because you know, I'm just, I'm getting organized. And uh, so things like I got this, uh, these cabinet lowers and countertop. Uh, but being a small basement shop that I just have by myself, I don't have any help down here, uh, trying to mount cabinets onto cinder block walls by yourself in a traditional fashion would be ridiculously hard. So I use a French cleat system and I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I do that. In organizing the rest of our house, my wife asked me to turn a small closet into a French cleat system like Frank Howarth did a while back. I had some cleat material left over, which is just some half-inch birch ply ripped with a 45-degree bevel on it. So I grabbed some of that and cut two pieces the length of a cabinet. I attached one of the pieces to the block wall with screws called tapcons, or concrete anchor screws. And while I'm drilling the pilot holes for those, let me address an issue. I'm aware that ideally any wood in contact with concrete should be pressure treated or use a moisture barrier since concrete is porous. My shop is in the above ground portion of a walkout basement with covered porches above it. These walls haven't seen any kind of significant moisture in probably about four years. The risk of using non-treated wood is moisture seeping through the concrete and turning the wood rotten. I'm comfortable taking that risk knowing the conditions of my shop and having this material already on hand. But honestly, pressure treated would have been the way to go here. But do as I say, not as I do. After mounting the cleat's center screw, I pulled down measurements from the top of the wall since my forefoot level wouldn't fit in this space and drilled pilot holes with my now dull masonry bit they supply with the tapcons and anchor the cleat to the wall. For the cleat that goes onto the cabinet, I wanted to make sure my screws went through the half inch backer and into the half inch piece making up the carcass of the cabinets for strength. These cabinets were made of particle board, so any bit of strength helps. Then I added some spacers to the bottom of the cabinet to hold the cabinets off the wall the same distance as the top of the cleats. I'm so excited by the idea that my clutter and mess can now live behind doors in my own secret shame instead of out on any exposed horizontal surface for all of you loyal viewers to see. My handheld power tools can now live in a bird's nest of cords high up on a shelf, and my card scrapers have a new home lost in one of the many, many new drawers I have yet to fill. The possibilities are endless, and like the old adage, out of sight, out of mind, I can rest easy knowing I'll never find my tape measure again. Alright guys, that's it for this time. Uh, just a quick tip on how to hang shop cabinets with a French cleat system on a block wall. If I ever wanted to, I could take this down, move it somewhere else, as long as there's a cleat to hang it on. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. I'm going to get back to organizing my shop. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to like, share, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks.